Okay, so I need to figure out a way to deal with all these infantry here. If you don't remember what happened last time, let me show you. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Press L to fire the cannon. That happens, and then I have no way to defend myself against these horde of troops. So, I need to come up with an effective troop destroying method. Um, so give me a couple minutes while I mull this around in the old log and try to come up with something functional. Okay, so I have this behemoth here now. Um, <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. So let's see how it deals with these troops. The main thing I need to worry about at this point, I think, is taking out those archers. And, oh my, I'm spinning uncontrollably. However, they are basically walking to their deaths when they approach me. But that does not solve the problem of them being alive. So, as you can plainly see, this thing is deadly, but it's not effective against these troops. Um, so I want to run this one more time just to see exactly what... Oh yeah, so these guys are touching the ground. I don't want to see that. Um, what I'm going to try... I've got an idea, so let me work on that. And I'll get back to you when I have something hopefully more effective against these troops. Um, okay, so I've... The first thing I wanted to try was raising the ship a bit. Or the vehicle. However, this bounding box, boundary box, whatever it's called, did not allow for me to do that. So I've compromised by adding some anti-personnel flamethrowers. And actually, I'll put a couple on the back too for those times when they want to crowd your rear. So this is going to be very interesting to see if this is effective. Um, so that's taken care of. Now we have simply to drive forward. We have to deal with... Oh my, we are burning ourselves to death, aren't we? Oh, that was terrible. Oh, no! God damn it. Oh. oh, we had a much better start against those guys. Okay, you see what's happening here? The enemy troops are walking into me as they burn, causing my ship itself to burn. Oh, I was a successful. But it burned itself to death. I don't know if I want to win that way. And this definitely is not the most elegant solution to my problem. Whoops, control Z. X... X, 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 Oh, okay. I need a more effective solution here. Uh, God damn it, I should probably put my phone on Do Not Disturb, shouldn't I? Please hold. Okay, so I'm going to mull around a little bit more what I can do to make this more successful against these troops. So just give me a couple minutes while I think about it. Okay, I'm having a lot of trouble coming up with something successful here. Um, you know what? I'm Regrettably, I think I'm going to have to move on from this original design. Oh, it was good times indeed. But I don't think this vehicle, in its current form at least, is going to be totally effective. So I'm going to do a complete redesign of this thing. And I'll show you what I come up with in a few minutes here. Alright, so I've come up with an amazingly beautiful design. It's quite absurd, but I think it'll get the job done. As you can see, I've got these three guys dangling. If you're wondering what they are, they are essentially autonomous vehicles with flamethrowers on the front. That'll deal with these three waves, a little bit with him, and hopefully burn them all to death. And then these cannons up here are to take out the people in front of us at a range. That should easily deal with that little problem. Now, how will this all function against real enemies? Let's find out in the next episode. Yes, this episode's gone long enough. I will test this one out next time, and you'll get to see just how much chaos and carnage this will rain upon them. This, is, this thing is absolutely insane, trust me. You'll want to check out the next episode. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of The Perfect War Machine. I'm Kester the Guy. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Or throw me a comment if you have any suggestions for things I should do differently on my war machines. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.